Good morning, here is today's prayer. Dear Lord God, I want more of you in my life. Please help me to hear your voice in my day-to-day -day routines. Your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, this is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand, or whenever you turn to the left. Isaiah 30 verse 21. Please let my worship of you become the soundtrack of my heart, resounding louder than all other competing sounds. Is there something you want me to hear today? Speak Lord, I am listening. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and it shall be, if he calls you, that you must say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. 1 Samuel 3 verse 9. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears your voice. My sheep hear my voice and I know them, and they follow me. John 10 verse 27. In the powerful name of Jesus I pray. Amen. The Holy Spirit, His voice. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Psalm 95 verse 7. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you will hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Hebrews 3 verses 7 to 8. Lord, You are my shepherd, and I am Your sheep. You make me lie down in green pastures, you lead me beside still waters. You restore my soul. When I begin to stray, you call me back into your fold. When I wander out of sight, I hear your voice calling out for me. I strayed into the valley of death, and I fell into a rocky pit. I thought that I would die and you would never know what happened to me. Then in the night, I heard your voice calling through the darkness. Forgive my hard heart, come rescue me, and bring me back into your fold. Holy Spirit, I hear your voice. I want to come home to you. My pit is deep, come lift me up and free me from the control of sin. I read that the shepherd put the straying lamb on his shoulder and returned home rejoicing, Luke 15 verses 4 to 5. Lord, bring me home. Amen. Go deeper, Psalm 29. The Holy Spirit calls you back to God. Tomorrow, Jesus, ruler. These summaries provide a glimpse into the themes and sentiments expressed in Psalm 20, showcasing a reliance on God's strength trust in his name, and a plea for divine intervention. 1, verses 1 to 2, Invocation of God's Help. Summary, the psalm begins with a prayer for God's favor and protection. The psalmist expresses trust in God's strength and acknowledges that help comes from the sanctuary. 2, verse 4, Offering of Heart's Desires. Summary, the psalmist highlights the act of bringing one's desires and plans before God. This verse suggests seeking alignment with God's will and finding fulfillment in God's purposes. 3, verse 5, Trusting in God's Name. Summary, this verse emphasizes the confidence placed in the name of the Lord. Trust in the name of God implies a reliance on His character, authority, and faithfulness. 4, verses 6 to 7, Assurance of God's Support. Summary, the psalmist expresses assurance in God's intervention and protection. Even in the midst of challenges, there is confidence that God will answer and provide support from His holy heaven. 5, verse 9, Petition for God's Help. Summary, the psalm concludes with a plea for deliverance and salvation. The psalmist acknowledges that victory ultimately comes from the Lord and appeals for God's intervention on behalf of the people.